this April 28th Jackson County Commission meeting to order. Um, have our roll call. <coughs> District 1, Mr. Guthrie. Mr. Present. District 2, Mr. Bill. Present. District 3, Mr. Miller. Present. And District 4, Mr. Lever. Present. And the chairman also present. The quorum is present, so we can't conduct business. I uh, have an invocation by Mr. Porter and our pleasure, Mr. Miller. God, our Father, we're blessed to be here, and we're so thankful for the beautiful spring weather you provided for us, beautiful sunshine and the cool breeze. Thanks so much for that. I pray that it will uh, nourish the ground and that the crops will grow and flowers will continue to bloom. So, God, we're thankful for this period of rejuvenation of your earth. God, we thank you for the men that are gathered here and their families. We pray that you'll be with them and watch over them and guide them. Be with the whole uh, county, all the uh, people who live here. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. sick leave. Asked no action today, but I do want to discuss an issue with the sick leave. Um, so any other changes before we proceed? Okay, do we have a motion to approve the agenda with any changes? A trip, uh, what did you say? Sick leave. No. Uh, oh, the CE and I. Is that correct? Yeah, CE and I. Okay. I'll make that motion before. Motion, do we have a second? Second. Okay. Any, any, uh, Questions, comments? All those in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Opposed say no. Okay. No awards. Anybody sign up to speak? I don't see a sign up sheet. Okay. Um, no old business, so we'll move on to new business. And the first item motion to approve the fee schedule for roll off containers for solid waste department. You have a copy of that schedule as well as uh, dumpster do's and dumpster don'ts and your uh, items that we'd like to include in the contract. Uh, this again was presented to us at the previous work session, so before we have any further discussion, we have a motion to approve this fee schedule as a recommendation. Make that motion. Motion, do we have a second? Second. Okay. Uh, any other questions, comments about this? Have you had an opportunity to put anything together? Okay. No, I don't really have. Okay, so we'll, uh, based on the information here, and if there's anything else, uh, let uh, myself or Daryl know, and then we'll pass that on to Mr. Porter for uh, any additions to a contract, but if you could, if this is approved, then we can go based off of what we have on that last page there. Sure. <coughs> any other questions or comments? Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. Okay. Next item, motion to approve the purchase of the lawnmower for the Parks Department. Again, this was presented to us at the previous work session. Um, before we have, if you... Uh, this, uh, what we're planning to do is move funds from account 231 to 233 in the amount of... They're around $9,000 by the time about extra blazing books and things like that. Okay, so... What funds? Uh, from 231 to 233, and that is... Uh, which which one's 231? Building makeup. Building and grounds maintenance. Okay, and 233 is equipment operations. And of course, there are plenty of funds there to handle this. So, before any further discussion, the motion to approve this item. Make a motion. Motion. Do we have a second? Motion. Okay. okay. Any further discussion on this item? Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Yeah. Opposed say no. Right. Next item: motion to approve changes on the maintenance director position. <laughs> as uh, I don't know. Have that copy of here if you don't. Uh, I would like to make some changes still to the job description in the future for the time being. I will stick with the job description presented. Now, again, this will be a, uh, uh, not a step, but a grade 10, I believe, uh, for this position. And the recommendation would be to move uh, Wayne Waldrop, who's currently within the uh, uh, maintenance department, move him up and not fill his uh, position that he currently fills. 
so we'll uh, reduce our jobs by one. Uh, this will take effect uh, May 1st, which is this Friday. They'll take, uh, take that as uh, Mr. McClinton retires. Uh, did we add what Mr. Miller had suggested about making sure he was a working supervisor? No, I would uh, uh, ask that we include that in the motion today. Like I said, I haven't had an opportunity to make any changes on this <coughs> yet, but if we include that in the motion, we'll get that changed on here. And then if there's any other, if there are any other changes that we made, I would probably, I will probably bring this back for the count, uh, commission in a couple weeks for any other revisions that have to be made. So, any other questions or comments? So do we have a motion to approve uh, that uh, position along with that uh, addition to it? I'll make a motion. have a motion. Second. Second. Okay, any other discussion on this item? As I said, this will take effect uh, uh, beginning May 1st. And it'll be on the, the, the plan is, and I guess we need to clarify if that was included in the motion for this to be in a six month trial period as it would be for any new hire. Is that correct? Okay. So, any other questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Opposed say no. Okay. Next item is motion to approve the memorandum of understanding for council on aging. This is something that's done annually um, and uh, looked uh, similar to the ones we've done in the past. I don't think we have this at the work session before, so are there any questions or comments before we proceed, or do you have anything to say about it? I don't really. It's uh, for a particular program. It's the SHIP program will provide some funding to help us facilitate that program. Any other questions? Any questions or comments about that? What happens when SHIP doesn't, the grant doesn't give the whole amount a week to offset this cost? Or? My understanding is this: these dollars are available now. Um, we will not enter into an MOU or TARCOG will not submit an MOU if those federal dollars aren't available for them. It to says do in the line that we're fixing to approve that if they are not awarded the amount, and they would just adjust the grant award. Oh, okay. If, if that's the yeah. case, who pays the balance if we're only... Well, the program funding reduces. That doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be a balance uh, to expand. We just ha we would have to cut the services um, okay. to, that are provided by the program. I, I think it's understood that we can't afford, at this time, uh, adding additional funds. Has the grant already been awarded for this one that we're doing now? I'm not sure if it's been awarded yet. Yeah, I, don't know. <clears throat> I know that the MOU is late. I think it was supposed to have been done last month, and Tarkov uh, did, didn't get the request out. So, but I don't know if that means the grant has been awarded yet or not. I just I don't really understand that. If the grant doesn't come through, then these folks don't get health insurance. Are they aware of that? I would assume anybody that's a member of the service would understand. Okay. That would be part of the uh, explanation of the program. I honestly don't know enough about the program, though. It's, uh, Council on Aging is something we've been trying to understand their finances a lot better. And of course, most of, most of it's funded by grants and things like this. Right. Uh, but we've not had the opportunity to really get into the depth of you know, individual programs and how they operate. That may not even be an issue. It just, there is a provision in there that says if the grant does not come through, right. then be able to adjust the amount. All this is for, <coughs> my understanding of it is to facilitate the program. I think like premiums out of this. Right. It's just for us to help go out and make sure that the seniors understand what their options are and what's available to them. So if we don't get the funding, then we just don't go assist the seniors in knowing what's out there. So so this is kind of just a grant to a reimbursement grant kind of for our efforts. Mm -hmm. So if you don't get the grant, then we'll just adjust the program. Right, great. Any other questions or comments? All right, do we have a motion to approve <coughs> So moved. Uh, the second. Second. Any further discussions or questions? I will try to find out a little bit more about the 
that particular program were really going to need to that to most see. of them. But, um, yeah. but Tarkov's been good uh, in the past uh, you know, keeping keeping these in low use intact. So. Any other questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Those say no. Okay. Next item regarding the ATRIP and I, if you could give us another quick overview of that, Mr. Wagner. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is uh, one of uh, the one of our ATRIP projects at Macedonia on County Road 44. Told you we felt like we were going to run short of personnel. We got paid in the projects now. Uh, we've uh, received a submittal from Johnson Associates, and uh, they're out of Hunts, Alabama. They've done a lot of projects that are familiar with them. Uh, they have to fill out sheets. Uh, uh, estimates for what the work will cost. It's not to exceed 15% of the total cost. These have to be approved by the commission and by ODOT in, in no particular order. ODOT hasn't got all the signature and got the final approval on them yet, but uh, what I'd like to do if y'all approve this, let's approve it contingent on ODOT also approve this. So the total price of the project is six hundred forty-eight thousand six eighty-eight, and uh, of course, you know, that's covered by trip funds. And then uh, uh, the estimate the estimated price of this is 15% or $94,800. And that will be taken out of ATRIP funds. And it won't be 20% to it, but it'll be 100% or we'll pay her 20%. So it's uh, but, uh, the only thing I mentioned, y'all, you know, we've got this one basket of ATRIP funds that's when we get towards the end, we'll be, <coughs> you know, we'll be taken out of that. So get the end, we might have to supplement it with some federal funds that we get every year or something. I think I've already discussed that. Before. What amount of time is this project supposed to take? You, know, uh, you got any idea? Yeah. Uh, probably take about, uh, probably gonna take about five or six months. If they don't run in the same time, they run into it. Fizzing? Fizzing. With a bad concrete. And no, no engineering firm locally can provide these services for us? No. Yeah. Yeah, there has to be a leading firm out on it, too. But it, it, it always runs about 15%. And that's not to exceed. Any other questions or comments? Uh, do we have a motion to approve the uh, agreement pending LDOT's final approval? I'll make that motion. Last have a second. Sir. Okay. And uh, do we have a copy? Have you seen a copy of this, Mr. Porter? I have not. If you could get a copy of Mr. <coughs> Porter, I'd ask we also, you know, as long as there are no other issues uh, or concerns for Mr. Porter, then we can sign that uh, upon Aldot's approval. That's agreeable by the commission. So we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Okay. Uh, final items regarding sick leave. And the, the question here, uh, currently the sick leave policy states that when you retire, uh, you receive half of your sick leave up to a certain amount. Uh, the question has come up recently when an employee, an employee passes away or a fit employee passes away. Um, is there a possibility of uh, paying that sick leave as either some type of, uh, or paying that sick leave in the same way, <coughs> half of that to a certain amount out to a beneficiary or a family member, either working for the county or not? So I wanted to bring that up and, and see what your thoughts were and discuss that and maybe bring this up in a future meeting if it looks like you want to change this. But are there any thoughts or questions on that? Or Mr. Poor, what the legal possibilities of that are? Like it's just the current policy doesn't provide for that. Okay. Is it mentioned at all in current policy? About death? Yeah. You no, know, it just talks about upon retirement. That's the only. You know, if you qualify and then you retire, then you get your sick leave. You and annually, but <coughs> you break employment, but as far as the sick leave goes, it only states retirement, right. as I understand. That's right. I mean, I would think if an employee built that up, his spouse should get it. Because he's going to get it if he retires and if he passes away, it's not the right thing to do. Now there's a 600 hour maximum cap. Right. 
So only half of it you would be eligible for right. half of it. Right. Hours. Right. Is there a basis as far as money goes that this is based on, or is it based on that employee's pay rate? It would be based on that employee. Right. Right. So as it is, we don't have a policy in place if a if an employee passes away to deal with that in any fashion. Right. There's okay. nothing states what 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 you would handle and that's the, the <coughs> how we handle that is we don't pay it out because the policy states nothing differently. Do you think it would behoove the county and us both if something like this was added but we put a base amount in there rather than three hundred dollars? Well, in that sense you just put a life insurance basically you do a county life insurance if you do that. You're saying a, a dollar amount. Yeah, just just so you got something to. Which you know, if, if X Y Z passes away and he makes twenty two dollars an hour, and X Y uh, P Q R passes away and they make ten, you know, just that's just a thought. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about. I'm not sure you can do that. Do I, I that's way. Yeah, because as Mr. Hodges said, that'd be compensation for work not done. Okay. And we, we can't do that. You know, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just the, if you want to extend the sick leave to include folks that pass away as well as retire, <clears throat> that's something they've already earned. They've already earned the sick leave. Yeah. But to pay them for some work they didn't do is, is, is that's my point. To me, they've already I think I think they yeah sick leave. I, I think they deserve it myself. I, I, I think. think I think we should amend whatever to uh, cover them just as if they had retired half of the accumulated leave. That's right. Well, uh, then we'll, I'll, I'll put together something along those lines <coughs> as far as policy goes. We'll try to have that presented at the next work session meeting to discuss further. We're talking about doing this as a policy not a one time. Thing. Right. Yes, it'd be. Yeah, yeah when you change it. Um, and obviously, hopefully, you don't have too many situations uh, like that that occur, but uh, I think it is important. That, uh, well, an employee that, that doesn't that accumulate sick leave is, is uh, obviously a valued employee, and they should be compensated for that. I think so, too. All right. Any other questions or comments? Okay, then uh, like I said, I'll get something put together on that. Um, that concludes the business item for the meeting. So we'll move on to reports. Mr. Manning, do you have, uh, have Mr. Porter? Oh, okay. Mr. White? Mr. White? Mr. White? Can I get it? Uh, Mr. White? Uh, I'm a silent partner. I'm a silent partner. All right. Any, uh, uh, Mr. Guffey? Mr. Venable? No, sir. Mr. Miller? No, sir. And Mr. Legel? No, sir. Uh, I do want to state that um, we have a seat on the Mountain Lakes Behavioral Health Care Board, uh, which has come open, and a seat on the Mountain Lakes Tourism Board. Uh, we have a request to reappoint on the Behavioral Health Care Board, but I would like to leave a week or two to allow for anybody that would like to put in for that. And then same thing with the Mountain Lakes Tourism Board. Uh, we have a recommendation on that. Uh, Mr. Woodall, our appointment has moved out of the county. Um, so uh, give an opportunity for anybody else that would like to put in for that uh, position. Also, uh, the- Who holds the health care board? Uh, Kenimer, uh, Dave, is it David, Michael? I can't remember. Mr. Kenimer holds that uh, position right now. Uh, the drug court has offered to seed our lawn and try to uh, care for it. They've gotten donations from several uh, businesses around the county. Um, so they're going to, I think, do that tomorrow morning. Uh, they came in last Friday and requested, and they're already going to be on it tomorrow morning. So they moved quickly. But uh, hopefully they can get something growing out there. <laughs> so we'll see what happens with that. And our next meeting will be on, our work session will be May 11th, and that is at the Woodville Community Center. Uh, we will have a meeting on that Tuesday, the 12th. So our next meeting is a work session on the 11th and a meeting on the 12th. And then uh, we're going to create the schedule with that. So any other questions, comments on any of that? We'll do the 11th. Right, at 6 p.m. 
And then Macedonia will be the next one. <coughs> be the 18th the Macedonia schools. Okay, so that concludes our item. We have a motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. As opposed to saying aye. We are adjourned.